An assignment statement is a way of assigning a value to a variable. The simplest form of an assignment statement is shown below, where it says variable equals expression. This symbol signifies the assignment of the value of the right hand side to the variable on the left hand side. Now the expression could be some kind of calculation that needs to take place. Whatever is worked out on the right hand side is copied to the variable that's on the left hand side. We have seen an example of an assignment statement earlier in the playlist and I'm going to repeat it here and we can see it says gross pay equals hourly pay rate times hours worked and of course what this will do is multiply together the contents of the variable hourly pay rate by the contents of the variable hours worked thus working out the gross pay for an employee with the result being stored in the variable gross pay. Now to be formal about this, this here is referred to as an operand. Likewise, this is referred to as an operand. Now the symbol in the middle, this one here, that's referred to as an operator. And indeed it is an arithmetic operator. And in this case it will multiply together the two operands and will store the result in gross pay. Here we can see I've set up a variable hourly pay rate storing 7.2 and another one hours work storing 35 hours and we're going to look at this particular program statement here which is gross pay is hourly pay rate times hours worked. Now when we do the calculation on the right hand side we can see that whatever the result of that is is going to be stored to the variable that's on the left hand side, i.e. gross pay. So we will need a variable called gross pay, which I'm showing here. Now because we're going to be multiplying this variable by this variable, i.e. this operand by this operand, using this operator, then we're going to have to do that using the arithmetic and logic unit that appears inside the computer. And our Python program will instruct the hardware of the computer to perform the following task. These two operands here will be transferred to the arithmetic and logic unit. Because of this operator here, the arithmetic and logic unit will be told to multiply its inputs. The resulting output from the arithmetic and logic unit will in fact be 252.0. Now this assignment statement implies that this output will be transferred to gross pay, precisely as we can see here. Let's have a look at some more assignment statements. Here you can see I've produced a simple program that has five program statements, three of which are assignment statements. And when we run the program we would get this output here. Now I'm going to look at each line of the program in turn. I'm looking at this one here and we can see that this is an example of an assignment statement. When this runs, Python will produce a variable which it'll call number 1 and we will assign to that number 1, 71. We then go on to the next program statement which is this one here and Python will create a variable and it'll give this variable the identifier or the name if you prefer, number 2. And of course we can see for the assignment statement that this is going to store 4. So the 4 has been copied from the right hand side to the left hand side. Now the next statement is simply going to print number 1 and number 2 to the output. And when it does we will get this line at the actual output. Now the next program statement is this one here which is different to the ones we've been looking at to date and this is where the content of the number 2 variable i.e. the operand number 2 is transferred to the variable number 1. Consequently what we will see happening here is a copy of what's in number 2 which is 4 being moved to the variable number 1 as follows. There we can see the 4 moving and we can see it replaces what was in number 1 a moment ago which was 71. But look, number 2 has still maintained its figure 4. Now the next thing we need to consider 
is the print statement here. Now what that will output to the screen is obviously going to be the content of the variable number one and the content of the variable number two. And we can see that here when it outputs the four followed by the four. So we've just seen three other examples of assignment statements. It is often necessary in computer programs to keep a running count so that you have a mechanism of taking a variable and increase it by one or decrease it by one or maybe increase it by two. And we'll come on to look at those type of requirements later on in this particular playlist. But here we're going to have a look at how we can increase the value of a variable by one. And here you can see I've got a computer program that's just simply got four statements. And when this runs, this is the output it will produce. But what we're going to do here is look at each program statement in turn. So we'll look at this one, which says count is assigned zero. So this is an example of an assignment statement. And of course, what Python will do here, it'll create a variable, it'll give it the name count, and it will obviously store zero in the count. And this line where we simply print to the screen so we can convince ourselves as to what's stored in the variable count. And we can see we get a zero as the output. Now this line here, this is count equals count plus one. Now straight away I use the word equals, which can confuse us. So try and avoid using that. This is count is assigned count plus one. Because if that actually was an equals as it was in mathematics, this doesn't make any sense. Because let's say count was seven. Well on the left hand side as you're looking at it, that would be seven. And that equals seven plus one now seven plus one is eight so that doesn't make any sense so what we need to do is to think about what this means in a computer program because the equal sign isn't an equal sign in the mathematical sense we have to think of it as an assignment statement so let's see what happens and the best way to think of that this in my view is as follows is to realize that a computer program will use the hardware and it will use the arithmetic and logic unit which is in the central processing unit. And if we look at the right hand side of the assignment sign, we'll see it says count plus one. Now what that will mean is we'll have a one generated inside the computer and the contents of the variable count and the one are transferred to the arithmetic and logic unit. Now the operator is a plus sign as you can see here. Now that means that we will send a plus to the arithmetic and logic unit which is a command saying add up your inputs. Now its inputs are a 0 and a 1. Consequently the addition of those is a 1 so we'll get a 1 at the output. What will now happen is what has been worked out on the right hand side of the assignment is copied to the left hand side. So the one goes and replaces what was in count, it overwrites it. So we can now see that the count stores one. So that variable has gone up by one. Now we need to convince ourselves of that. So let's print the count now and see what we get at the output. And there you can see we have a one at the output. So count, assign count plus one is an important type of assignment statement in all programming languages because it allows us to have a variable that can increment and there will be many things for which this will be useful. The top image is that of a computer program with four statements and the bottom image is the runtime of the program that's at the top. Now this is similar to the last program we looked at. Here we've got four program statements and what we're going to see is how we can decrement a variable. That means reduce it by one in this particular case. And we're going to take each program statement in turn. So let's look at the first one here. That says count equals 10. Now Python will generate a variable and will give it the name count. And will obviously assign 10 to that particular variable. And then we go on to the next line and that's saying print count. Now I'm just doing that so we can observe the output. And we can see that the output is actually 10. Now the next line is count is assigned count minus 1. And remember that's not an equal sign. Because if it was, this wouldn't make any sense in mathematics. So for imagine you had the situation that count 
equals one less than itself doesn't make any sense what happens here is again best thought of as what goes on in the hardware and of course what will happen is the program will make the hardware perform the following task it'll take what's stored in count together with a one and transfer those two numbers to the arithmetic and logic unit as you can see here now the operator we can see is minus so that will mean that the computer's arithmetic and logic unit will be given a signal which will say subtract what you've got at your inputs and what it has at its input is the 10 and the 1 and the result of that subtraction will be a 9 and now this 9 will be assigned to count and there it goes replacing what was already in count so we can see that that variable has gone down by 1 and if we want to convince ourselves that this has worked let's have a look at this which will print count and there we can see it's 9 so here is a mechanism for reducing a variable by 1 and again this has many uses in a computer program as you will see later in the playlist <laughs>